Libra, welcome to your May general forecast. Now, if you are currently going through a depression, a breakup, loss, heartbreak, you know, expect that, you know, you're not the only one who's going through this, but this too shall pass. And if you just recently broke up with someone, you will get back together right after three days or three weeks. Okay, so don't worry about it. And you just need to work on your communication stuff, communication problems, and don't just keep on everything hanging. If there is something that you need to discuss in a relationship, talk about it. Instead of being silent, walking away and expect that the other person will be reading your mind or will be reading whatever that's inside of you. You know? God has actually given you mouth to talk, not to, you know, close it down. All right. Ooh. Great career in finances this month. Well, except that there will be a fire sign will be acting so bitchy towards you. So, expect that within this month. And I feel like someone will also be um, claiming for some false child support. Well, obviously, you know what to do because you have to check with the DNA and stuff like that. But it will be more of a nuisance, you know, being bothered by this person. All righty. Balancing your options between two person, two people, two sexes. Libra. Alright, Libra, you feel so stuck in a situation, especially with this water sign. You know, it's like you want to walk away, you want to run away, and you want to cut off the communications, but then you feel like there's still more left. You know that this, this is the only person who really cares genuinely for you, yet you can't, you know, you can't avoid not to sabotage the relationship, okay? The two of you, like what I said, you know, at the introduction, that the two of you will still get back together. The two of you will still, you know, work things out together. Y you just need to, you know, you just need to open up a little bit emotionally. You know, when it comes to whatever you really want to be in a relationship, it can't always be sex. It can't always be, you know, uh, someone will be taking advantage of you or someone will be like uh, using, the, using you or something like that. Not all people out there will be hurting you. You just need to take the risk. Okay? Now, this person, even though they're going to be walled up, cut off and dry, cold and distant towards you, they are hurting you the inside. They are, you know, they're still human. They're not made of metal or they're not made of steel or something like that. You just need to walk away from whatever happened in the past that had hurted you, especially if it's not really them. It's, it's unfair that you are punishing someone over the memories of someone else. Now... The two of you will be making a brand new beginning and I feel like you will be talking about moving away, moving for, moving, moving to another place, relocation, leaving your comfort zone, or making a, um, well, making a loan together. Which is, I feel like it's going to take some time for you to really think about this, but then at the end of the month, you will be agreeing that, yeah, you know, we, we really need to compromise and really need to make some changes because, you know, my life has been like this. Um, it's been running in the monotonous uh, routine and uh, I feel like, you know, I've already outgrown it, you know, and um, 
I feel like for the first time that you will be opening up a bit of your emotions towards this person, which is this is the one that they have been waiting for for a long period of time since that they've been together or since that they've been with you. There will be a celebration and there will be uh, an event that the two of you will be attending. I feel like this person will also be forgiving you right after explaining your side and they will be understanding you. So that's true love. When a person accepts you for who you really are, even with your flaws, shortcomings, and everything. Okay? Now, you will also be traveling by the second week or the last week of this month to go and search for either a new job or a new opportunity or business deals. Now, just be very careful not to be overly ambitious as I feel like that there is someone who will be betraying you, which is another air sign. Okay? And be careful in investing your money or spending your money into something that, you know, that you're not really sure if it's going to be, if it's going to bear it to fruition or not. Now, when it comes to your finances and career, your finances will become even more stable, except that there is someone who is a fire sign that will be communicating you in a very bitchy way, and you're not going to like how they will be approaching you because it seems like they are disrespecting you, especially if you are higher than them. Now, you will be approaching another older air sign woman whom you feel like can help you and can give you a proper advice on how to deal with this person. But then it seems like, you know, um, you just need to be a little bit more patient and they're going to take care of this person in their own terms. And everything else will be changing because I feel like finally this person will be kicked out of your department, your team, or, you know, something like that but they will be transferred and you're going to be <laughs> celebrating because finally you're not going to see the awful face the awful face of this person every day when you go to work and you're just a little bit um worried because you have to spend more time in the office now that you also need to cover up for their responsibilities in their area of work while they are while the company is looking for their own replacement okay so even though that there is like a consequence for this decision, which is you can't say no, okay? You've made a complaint about this person. Now you have to cover for them. For the meanwhile, that the company is looking for their replacement. At least it did. you don't really have to dwell with someone or you, you don't have to deal with someone with a, with an, you know, like um, ill-mannered behavior, okay, especially if they're a woman, you know. Now, when it comes to your personal life, there will be a brand new beginning and it seems like there will be a turn of karma or there will be like a justice to the situation which you have been trying to avoid for a certain period of time and again you will be really traveling but be very careful when you travel as i feel like it, this is related to work that you will f um that you will find out that someone has been betraying you cheating on you lying on you taking advantage of you and it seems like you are really moving. Okay, so what are you going to do with the other person that's been lying and betraying you? You're going to be cutting them off. And you will also be mean and cruel. And if there is something that you're providing for them, you're going to cut them off. Right there and then. Okay, and you will also be moving. It already showed up three times already. And I feel like... Listen to your instincts as even if you're having a hard time accepting the truth, there is a, uh, you know, like a truth of the situation that you will be awakened and that you'll be opening up your eyes with and it will set you free somehow, okay? But what's important is that everything else will be, you know, like will be okay, all's well that ends well and you will be learning your lesson there are two people that you will be losing in your life because of their betrayal and because of their lies and alibis when it comes to your sex life you are balancing two people or both sexes okay for those libras who's actually bisexual um it seems like you feel like uh the other person the other person gives you emotional comfort the other person gives you sexual comfort so you need to make a choice now i feel like with the other person you feel like everything is too dry 
everything is too you know like there's not that much spark or connection anymore or chemistry but then with the other person they're too forceful of course that at the beginning it is a little bit uh, you know it is a little bit um what do you call this um exciting but then right now things are getting a little bit rigid and getting a little bit tight okay so you will be comparing this to his performance when it comes to you and when it comes to your you know when it comes to your sexual chemistry between the two of them the other one is too open-minded the other one is too conservative and you also need to use some protection if you don't want to have any venereal diseases okay now when it comes to your health hmm, hmm. chest pain high blood pressure cough or bronchitis and puffy nose and colds and flu you also need to Well, you'll be a little bit depressed and stressed out when it comes to your relationships and uh, be a little bit more giving, okay? Don't be so stingy when it comes to your expression or when it comes to your feelings. You also need to drink um, lots of fluids because you're being rehydrated, especially when you wake up in the middle of the night and you are so thirsty and you're, you're, you know, you're, uh, your throat is too parched. You need to always have water by your side and I feel like it's your sugar okay but you need to go and check out with your doctor much better you also need to meditate and you don't stay too late at night your eyes it will become an issue you will also be you know feeling a little bit blurred nauseous having some headaches every time that you stare too much at the computer or you're you know you're texting too much uh with your cell phone so it's more about your eyes and uh, be careful about secondhand smoking and also take care of your health. Oh, sorry, T take care of your lung health. Aside from that, oh, and you will also have some allergies. Be careful with all the creams and whatever, you know, uh, facial stuff that you'll be using in your face because you will get an allergy. You know, you'll be having some acne here and there or you're gonna have some sex uh, sorry sensitive and bumpy skin now today let's take a look at your oracle cards organization your plans are on target and everything will flow more smoothly if you add a little organization and discipline to your methods the key to success is to allow your creativity to be gently guided by logic be open to asking for help from someone very intellectual or seek out a mentor Helper of action, you're blessed with, man, with many wonderful things to do. It would be great if you could take the time to make a plan first, but you probably don't have the time. So get busy, follow your instincts, and have fun. You or someone you meet is a very self-assured, capable, enthusiastic, and can do anything with a smile. Aid of emotion, you feel a deep longing for something meaningful in your life. In your heart, you know that there's more out there waiting for you in the world. It may be time to switch careers, move to a new home or city more likely move to a new home or initiate other important changes do what's right for you and seek out a magical new life garden of emotion the situation requires emotional maturity and total trust you're surrounded by those who have only the best of intentions so you can rely on the advice you're given Chal uh, challenges will be resolved this card also indicates a generous humanitarian and a refined person whom you can completely depend on this could be a reference to these characteristics within yourself well that's it for you for this month libra and if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live in the calls just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.